Pi is an app, and one of the first apps where you can earn cryptocurrency from your phone, and all you really need is a mobile phone, and also to download the app from the App Store, and it looks like from there you can start mining Pi almost immediately. In this video I wanted to test out the Pi network for myself and analyze whether or not this whole thing is some sort of massive fraud because I read a lot of different opinions, and I hope this video can clear everything up. Hi there it's Crypto Relic Channel, please support by likes, subscribes and turn on notification bell to stay tuned. So like I mentioned earlier, all you need to do is download the app from the App Store and set up a Pi account, and this process is going to force you to enter some pretty basic information and also to use someone else invitation code. But once you get that out of the way, you can start earning Pi almost immediately. And I know that said mining at the beginning of this video, but I think earning is a better definition of what's really happening, and I'll make sure to explain this a bit more in the later parts of this video. But regardless of the technicality here, all you need to do to continue to earn Pi is to click a simple button every 24 hours, and as you move around the app, you're going to quickly notice that the app really tries to incentivize you to invite more people onto Pi, and if I'm being honest, this is one of the first things to raise some sort of alarm bell in my head, because it looks like some sort of multi-level marketing scam you often see on Facebook or Instagram. And I guess the bigger question now is should we be worried because of how the Pi network is being structured? Some of the most popular MTE cams are companies like Herbalife and also Amway. These companies are pretty masterful. I've recruiting new members to make more money, and the most ironic by evil part about these companies is you lose more money that you make working there. For example, just imagine working for a company like Herbalife. You're going to have to pay about $20 a month to access and marketing platform. Then you're going to pay about $10 to attend their events, and after that you're going to pay $100 for a box of Herbalife drinks to resell. And whether you know it or not in this situation, you essentially became the customer for Herbalife and the company doesn't really care what happens afterwards because they essentially made all the money they needed from you. And this is one of the biggest reasons why people hate multi-level marketing scams, because you lose more money than you actually make now. The biggest question right now is can we consider the PIE network a multi-level marketing scam, and after really thinking about this question, I really don't think we can. The first thing you're going to notice about this app, is that it doesn't really take anything from you. It's not trying to sell your product or service and it's not even asking for your money here and now. I'm left thinking what does this app, even one from us, because all you really do is sign back onto the app every 24 hours, and there's really two explanations of what I think is happening right now. The first explanation here is that you are paying the Pi network, but maybe just not in cash. For example, you're paying the company by giving up your data and also your time. And this is true in some level because the company does collect personal information about shoes such as your email name, phone number, and also identifiers like user ID, and also device ID, and they also might be making money off your time, because every time you visit the app you might see an ad or two, but after thinking about this, this seems like a pretty weak argument right now. Since platforms like YouTube, TikTok, and Facebook are pretty much there to take your time, and hit you with a lot, of ads. So if you argue that the Pi network is a scam because of that, you would also have to argue the same thing for these social media companies. And I don't think setting up ads is the most lucrative way to profit off of millions and millions of people. If this was a scam, most of the scams that I come across are short-term cash grabs most of them, have the bare minimum amount of information listed on their website, and their actions will quickly tell you that they're trying to squeeze as much money as they can from you in the shortest amount of time possible, but I don't really see that here. The actions of Pi Network has always been consistent with their philosophy. For example, the strict information collection process could be an honest attempt to make sure that the users on the network are authentic real people and the ads here might be the only way that these developers are making money, because the project doesn't really take much or anything at all from its users, and so far the company really hasn't done anything to tell me otherwise. In fact, the app even punishes people who tries to expand the network in a dishonest way and I haven't seen a single case of identity fraud because of the application. I think some of the things that make people question the app is really how it's being promoted, and also the structure of it. You never really want to see invitation codes being spammed around, because that's usually indicative of a fraud, but if you really think about it, it's also the best way to promote a network. And I have no doubt that the Pi network wouldn't be as big as it is today without the referral code process. And apart from this, a pyramid-like structure exists in almost any sort of organization or hierarchy, and some of the examples include a corporation, your family unit, or even the distribution of wealth. And the point I'm trying to make here is just because it has a pyramid-like structure, doesn't make it a fraud. But what does make something or fraud is a flow of money within those organizations. For example, M is pretty scammy, because you lose more money than you actually make in a Ponzi scheme, which is a type of investment fraud. You end up having your money stolen or mismanaged by the person who's supposed to control it. And in a pyramid scheme we often have to invest a lot of money with virtually zero payback, 
and I hope you understand my point because in the pi number the flow of money is non-existent and you're not really losing anything or anything significant and what it really looks like to me is that the pi network is trying to grow in an honest way. The company has pretty detailed plans on what it wants to do in the short term and also the long term and if this whole thing is a scam, it's a pretty dumb one for sure. This would mean that the developers here who are actually pretty smart people are wasting their potential for a couple of hundreds of thousands of dollars in exchange for a lifetime in prison when they already have the capacity to build something real and functioning. That's one of the things that doesn't really make any sense for me, and you can see here that the developers don't really try to hide their identities in any sort of way and said what it looks like to me is that they're really trying to re-engineer how a decentralized network works. You see, in something like Bitcoin, Trust is placed on those who have the most computing power in the network, and this is because it makes more economic sense for people who have a big stake in the network to go with the network instead of going against it. And I'm sure you guys heard of this concept a million times, but Pi does something different with it. And instead of relying those with the most computing power PI believes as social connection is the cheapest way to establish trust in a decentralized system. So basically the more authentic people there are on the network, the more trustworthy the network is. Since the network here can compare the pi balance among users and also do this process at a fraction of the cost. And this is one of the reasons that we actually earn pi from our phone instead of mine pi from our phone. Because you can turn your phone off and still earn the same amount that you would have if the phone was back on. And this really means that every time you're logging back onto the pi application, all you're really doing is checking in and a good way to think about this is the teacher calling roll call and you're pretty much raising your hand to show that you were there. So there's really no mining process from our end, and it just looks like they're keeping track of how much they owe you and whether or not you're a real person on the network. Here's a quick cost-benefit analysis of everything that's going on. Some of the potential benefits might include getting your hands on a digital asset before everyone else, and doing this with minimum work and zero investment. Now, I don't think this will make everybody a millionaire, but it might make people a couple hundred dollars, or a couple of thousand dollars depending on how much you earn. And that's not really too bad considering how much time you're really spending on this project and some of the potential costs of the pine. Eric might be the platform leaking some of your data. For example, your email, your phone number, your name. But I highly doubt that, because this is way too intricate just to steal your data and also the developers here aren't really camera shy and they're constantly promoting their product and doing what you expect. An honest company would do given the situation and given that philosophy and based on this I noticed that the platform has a much higher upside than downside. Now this will change. For example, at the platform starts asking you for money. But as of right now I think it's a pretty good representation of what you're getting yourself into, and after doing the research for this video, I even decided to continue to earn some pie on the application because it really makes sense to me right now based on what I can potentially gain and what I can potentially lose. And for some reason if you guys decided to join to make sure to use my invitation code here and a fun fact here is that in the description below. And with that being said, I hope you guys found the video interesting. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys again next time and update you guys on things like this to the Pi Network or even investable companies and I'll try to get the video out on time. But I can't make any promises so with that said thank you guys so much for watching and take care see you next time.